All right, let's bring in Amitabh Ghosh, who is the chair of the Science Operations Working Group of the NASA Mars Exploration Rover Mission. He joins us now live from Washington. Amitabh, always good to have you on these type of stories. Um, we're going to be entering a whole new frontier. That's what it looks like. Uh, whether we're looking back 13, 14 billion years or, uh, you know, looking to answer the question, the age-old question of are we alone in this universe? I'd like to get your thoughts on how this telescope will rewrite the history of the universe. So, you know, we are really weak in our capability to travel space. That's why we need this telescope. To give you a sense, the spacecraft that we launched in 1976 has just traveled to the edge of the solar system, and which is 20 um, minutes away. I'm sorry. 20 hours away. Um, the nearest star is four light years away. The center of the galaxy is maybe um, 12,000 or 26,000 light years away. And as you heard, that the edge of the universe is 13.4 billion years away. So we really need this telescope. What it is going to let, let us know is during the early stages of the evolution of the universe, the first 200 million years is when a trillion galaxies form. Um, and so we will have much better um, idea of that through the infrared. Second is, um, uh, there are a lot of planets out there uh, which we see through our telescope. Here, we'll be able to see a little more of what the atmospheres are um, made up of. Doesn't mean that we'll get any definitive evidence of life, but we'll see how many Earth-like planets are out there. Then there's another very interesting question is there's, there may be another planet beyond Pluto. It's called the ninth planet. And so this, again, will help us look for the ninth planet. Then um, there are a um, lot of near-Earth asteroids which are of threat to us. We can perhaps monitor them better. Um, we can make solar system observations of, so for example, you know, there are missions to Vesta, uh, an asteroid, and that mobilized because of observations from the Hubble Space Telescope. So I think the biggest surprise from the Hubble Space Telescope was serendipitous. Um, they really pointed the telescope to nowhere, and they found, um, um, and, and they took an observation over uh, maybe 10 days, and they found billions of galaxies in that tiny area. So here, okay. I would say the biggest discovery that is perhaps coming okay. is what we still don't know about. That's always the, the, the big part. All right, there's a lot on this wish list. I think we're going to get the first pictures sometime in late 2022. Amitabh Ghosh, thank you very much for coming on. I do appreciate the time.